Ladies and gentlemen, we are headed to Arrakis for this latest Forex title from Shiro Games. Don Hayes is the name, and June Spice Wars is the game. Alright, so Head Start is 100% what we're going for. Start every mission with the first development of each tree. The amount of time that saves from a technology standpoint is insane. Plus the fact that each of these sort of first level developments are really powerful. So 100% Head Start is, I recommend it way and above any of these other options. Um, so that is what we're going to go and run with. All right, just having a look at the other options then. So these are major um, buffs. So in case of a rebellion in a Harkonnen village neighboring the enemy, rebels enter the service of House Harkonnen instead. Wow. That's interesting. Upon death, non-permanent units explode and deal high damage to enemies in a small area. Jesus. And effects that hurt owned units. Health also grant them one experience per 1% health lost. Damn. These are all pretty good. This is huge in terms of the... Deals a high damage to enemies in a small area. I mean, I love that. That is... As cool as this is, I really, really like Pragmatic Sacrifice, so I'm going to go with this. Okay, so we've got three options to choose from this time around. We've got Mount Idaho Range. Hold Mount Idaho to gain 100% hegemony production. Yeah, okay, so it's one of these. Uh, King of the Hill. Landstrad, Agents, Trooper Recruitment Costs. So plus 5 Spice Production, plus 25% Plasgreet. That's huge. Win 3, the Political Economical Domination. Using an operator spawns an assassin in the zone. That's amazing. And then this one, bonus spice. Basically the same. Influence and intel upon killing rebels. That's huge. And that's also pretty big. Start every mission with two developments from the second expansion level. Ooh, these are all really good options. But this... This is the one I'm going to go with. Go for oppression. You guys taking less time to recruit is a really good shout. I'm going to roll with this. Without House Harkonnen to squeeze them, the villages of Arrakis are purposeless. Only you, Baron, know best how to profit from this planet. So we did this mission in our Atreides campaign. What we need to do is find the summit, which is generally inexperienced in the middle of the map. Ready. And as soon as we do that, we just need to beeline it towards there, really, and capture it. So I'm probably going to manually control an ornithopter for this one. Um, but we do also want to focus on special regions as well. Listening. One of us will so we're going to focus on taking down the uh, Solari base. Quite conveniently, a Solari base as well, because that would be good for our upkeep. We are going to build quite a nice big army in this mission, since we have to defend the hill. Should be a straightforward. And take control of the first ornithopter and put it where I think the base probably is. Awaiting order. Where the summit is, I should say. I reckon it's going to be somewhere around here. 
roll with that, see what happens. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got... Okay, I don't know what that base is. This one's Solari, so we definitely want to grab this. Plus two intel. Plus, okay, this is our intel base. That's not bad. Yes. Can roll with. Actually, that's also good because then we can uh, we can start pushing out a couple of. Uh, cancel that. Actually, I'm gonna go for gunners instead. Waiting target. In fact, let's upgrade the gunner. See, the 30% attack speed is good, but you lose health per day while in combat. Whereas this, you just lose... Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to go with attack speed. Let's, let's try this out, see if it's better or worse than just straight up power. Yeah, the fact that we've already got all these done is awesome. I'm going to go with Advanced Engineering, followed by Arrakis Butchers. Right, Solari Production 1 Hondo. To recon this one is doing what? Ready. We haven't come across the summit yet, that's for sure. Let's go. Ready. Ah, this looks like it could be. Judging by the lay of the land. Yeah, it's probably this one, I reckon. This is a special re oh there it is, Mount Idaho. Yeah, so this is where we need to beeline it towards. I wonder if we could grab that straight away. Master. It's possible. The benefit is you get 100 hegemony per tick. I think that's what it gives you um, by capturing that. Let me just check. Where's the hegemony thing? Conquest bounties. 100 hegemony production. Like no, no other special region can even come close. It's like 8 hegemony per tick when you get these special crafts. So 100 per click or tick is just, yeah, once you capture that, as long as you keep it, it, you'll just be unstoppable for the mission type. So if we can capture it straight away, happy days. There's going to be quite a heavy, heavily defended base though. So we're going to have to try and get as many units as pos. We live to serve. Listening. I do want lots of... Uh, this is a relatively big map. I say that, I'd say medium actually, to be fair. So this was Intel, wasn't it? Oh, so we need a neighbouring region or observatory mountain enemy neighbouring region. That's unfortunate. Oh, it's per statecraft building. Okay, well in that case, let's go research centre. Yeah, once this uh, unit joins us, I think we can take that. Yes. We hold instruments of doom. Two, is that enough? Two dudes. What's yeah, that is enough for that. Step? Oh, can we take it? Can we actually... 99. By the time we get there, we probably have enough. Stick you on auto recon. What are we doing for supplies, actually? 130. Oof. It's a little bit close. Comfort. I think we'll be okay. 95. Yeah, it's dropping quickly. Might not.
I mean, this is going to be close. This is either going to be awesome or a mistake. <laughs> Our lives belong to you. 50. Oof. Give it a go. Yes. See if we can cap. Incoming pain. What do you need? Yes. To the slaughter. Real instruments of doom. Incoming pain. What's our next step? Nothing will remain. Oh god, yeah, we are running out of supplies, that's a problem, I don't th I think we might be dead. Should be a real shame. Very close. Although we are killing them very quickly. Go, 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 but we're here, we're actually capturing the thing. Why are we taking damage? Ah. <sighs> Why are they taking damage? I don't understand. That's very irritating. We might just be able to cap it in time. Ooh, it's going to come down to the wire. I'm going to lose at least one more, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Cap, 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 cap. Oh, you lucky boys. Okay. 30 plus creep production. Yeah, yeah. Now we just need to deal with this. Little uprising. Woof. Okay, hegemony is on its way up now. Just need to keep hold of this base. And happy days. Waiting target. Okay, let's go grab some of these. Listening. All right, that did come down to the wire, but we managed to pull it off just. You see just how much we're romping ahead now. <laughs> so now we've capped it, basically all we need to do is hold that base. And we're golden. was a very risky play though to be fair. What I should have done is probably capture this base first and then capture that, but... Eh. We made our choice. What do you need? As you wish, we master. live and die by the sword, boys. Grand for in, uh, authority's not bad shout. I'm definitely grabbing this. I'm going to put 150 into that. Oh, Carino, you git. Well, rip. Okay, we need manpower production. That's great, I think it's okay. I think we need money and authority. So I'm going to go grab that. We need money because we're going to build a big army this mission to make sure no one can recap that base from us. I'll grab this and then Insulated Valley. And then we'll pretty much just focus purely on military after that. There's not really a mission where we need to worry too much about intel or um, spycraft. I think everyone, they're always useful, but it's not really a requirement. Okay, I'm going to go grab an airfield here so we can airdrop the boys in.
No, do I want Plascrete or a Siege? I'm going to grab Plascrete, actually. Plascrete's not great for us right now. I think we need to start taking some bases en route to Idaho, so it's not so isolated. So I'm thinking this one, Ulanim, plus it's Plascrete. Which will probably come in quite nice and handy. Some manpower. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a probe. Manpower's up to about ten now, which is good. Uh, we don't really need more um, authority right this second. What's this? Labothopter for knowledge. Yep. Definitely. So, Labothopter, we've got one. Wow, we really don't know where any special regions are. <laughs> There's five of them, apparently, so let's just chart a course around the outside of the map. So that's the other thing we need to gain hegemony is special regions. So that's probably going to be the next thing we kind of beeline towards. Outside of just shortening the gap between our base and Mount Idaho. Okay, there's one there. Okay, that's definitely worth grabbing. Looks like a tradies are over here. You can see a little hint of green. Which suggests to me Carino is going to be over here. In fact, I think I can see their influence there, possibly. So you want to grab this base as soon as we can. Let's get to business. Plascrete for money? Yes, please, and thank you. Got loads of Plascrete. Plascrete's actually a really good resource for me. Gonna go ahead, grab a missile battery. Hold fire on the militia for just a sec. Oh, there's another. Oh no, that is the one we were looking at. Yes. Okay, we can go yes. ahead with that. We hold instruments of doom. Awaiting order. Oh, okay, well, I found house uh, Carino. Listening. Copy on vector. Copy. Wow, our, all of a sudden our manpower's just skyrocketed upwards. <laughs> Got money so we can gain influence. Trying to build up a bigger army. Uh, let's go... Landstrad. So we're gaining intel. Oh, there's scavengers in here as well. Huh, interesting. I'm not bothered about that. Awaiting order. What do you need? What's our next step? Not sure where they're going, but we'll take them out anyway. Free XP for us. How well defended is this? This is a four base, okay. Might be worth us bringing these guys down. Oh, actually, we could send them up. We could just send everyone all over to this place. Let's bring them down here. Sam site and that's protected. Wait, what? I don't think so, buddy. 
Not on my watch. Ready for destruction. They won't resist. Obliteration in progress. Make it worth my time. Yep, I'll take that. It's a good trade for me. Listening. Need plus Crete anyway. Listening. Actually, this isn't the base I want, but I don't want them having it. They won't resist. Wow, they're fast. Well, there's only 38 cost. I might as well grab this. You can take this one. You're, you've already killed the militia, so... Ah, oh, there's one more left. You go help him. Oh, there's four in that one, though. Uh, actually, no, they should be fine. Why are you dying? Ah, uh, the damage over time. Ready for destruction. Forward. We're listening. We hold instruments of doom. So they still lose even We're after here. they've finished. So that's why I'm losing health. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Upgrade. I'm just going to check. If I was to change the armory to this one, would that stop this? Ready for destruction. No, I'm still... Losing health. Target. Oh, no, not. It stopped. Right, so it is. that's the upgrade that's causing me just to lose health every couple of seconds. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's a good one, to be honest. I really don't think that's beneficial. Four of five, apparently. So we've missed one. Okay. I think I know which one we've missed. I think it's this one over here, wherever it was. There. But this one's also very close. Listening. Oh, Well of Riches. Oh, we need that. 170. That's... Ooh, ooh. That's a costly one. What's our next step? But it is definitely needed. Waiting target. What's our Plus, I don't want the enemies step? having loads of money. Let me stop them from grabbing this. 170. Ready. I can't... Grab it myself just yet, but can definitely stop them from getting it. Okay, manpower's my next problem for sure. Listening. We hold instruments of doom. They won't resist. I'm waiting. Okay, I'll grab that one. Uh, 100. I'm going to put 130 into that. Oh, damn Carino, man. Whenever Carino's in, I swear they always absolutely dominate on those. Uh... Ready for destruction. Um, votes. No just because of the way Carino works. If they want something, they can nine times that ten just grab it. Stop them from grabbing this, please, and thank you. God damn. Ready for destruction. I makes two, four, five to grab. Oof. Shit. That's real not good. Ready for destruction. That's unfortunate. Blood will flow. Yeah, I do want that. Two, four, five. That's going to be so expensive to grab. We hold instruments of doom. Nothing will 
stand in our way. Listening. We also need to go towards statecraft, so once we finish that, let's go in Steel Fear, Outpost, this, and then Symbols of Authority. At the end of the day, hegemony is the only thing that matters in this mission, for the most part. Let's grab manpower production Our next. To you. What's our next step? Awaiting target. Baron. We hold instruments of doom. <laughs> It's going to be one of these missions. my land. We'll do as you order. We're ready, Baron. Guess we could grab this. What do you need? How much was this one? Two hundred and forty five. Wow. So expensive. Oh, wow, they got craft workshop already? God damn. On our way. Man, the traders get that upgrade so much quicker than us. make peace with these guys. Is that 250 or something, wasn't it? Too far. You, We're not too far away from that now. Problem is, as soon as I move away, I guarantee they'll attack us. So maybe we peace up with these guys I help got loads of money as well let's see if we can grab some of that money Make it worth my time. What do you need? 
that does buy us some time. Now we can take over the Atreides base. We're ready, Baron. We'll do as you order. Well of riches are so good, so you get plus forty salary production, which is why I want it. Cause that'll come in so handy. And also I don't want Atreides getting that bonus. At the end of the day, there's basically looking at this map, there's kind of three regions I want. This one, which is the one we actually have to keep. This one, Well of Riches. And then this one over here, which is. Oh, also Well of Riches. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, let's grab the two Well of Riches and we're golden. And we just need to build a crafts workshop in each of them. And happy days. Interesting. Raiders. Okay, well, we've got plenty of defense in there now. Okay, we're at the point where we've actually got loads of... Uh... Oh, they're going for this one. Of course they are. That's irritating. Um, okay, you know what? Cancel this because... I'm not going to get that anyway, but what I can do is grab a couple of boys... The gunners to deal with that. Make it worth my time. That's actually really good for that much influence. Yeah, I'll definitely take that trade. Oh, f oh good job you gave me all that influence. Oh, maybe they're going for Atreides. Wow, even they're going for Atreides. Oh, unless they're going for this base. That's a really annoying base for them to grab. Hopefully it's this one. Or even better, this one. <laughs> Generally thought they were gunning for me then. Actually, you know what? Let's not go... Oh, yeah, no, I do. I need to... Uh, I ain't got the money. I ain't got no money. We can just pull them over the border. We'll that we should be able to. Nothing will remain. What's our next Lovely Jovely. Never know why I hit him. We hold instruments of doom. We'll be there soon. Listening. No one will survive. Ready for destruction. That's close. Uh Okay, I'm going to go 150 on this, because that would be good. If we can grab that, nice. Carino, for once, don't have votes or influence. <laughs> Mostly because he gave it all to me. Sort out the old uh... garrison. This one's almost ours. Actually, further, we've already got a crafts workshop. <clears throat> I don't know if it will work because we don't have the um, research for it yet, but we'll see. I mean, great if it does. And we are just romping ahead in hegemony. Not 
is it? Um, What's our next step? Yeah, it just requires... I'm going to keep it there anyway. I'm definitely going to grab an airfield. I need to be able to rotate quickly. Because that is quite isolated. And the same with this one over here. But the fact that we got Well of Riches, I'm well happy with that. And power deficit, okay. Hmm, money is killing me right now. What I need for this? One, two, two. And its defences are five. Okay. It's very reasonable. On watch. Yes, listening. Let me scout the map then by the looks of it. I'll keep yes. these two. I kind of wish those would auto-resolve, rather than having to click things twice. Seems a bit unnecessary. Anything for you, Baron? Anything for you, Baron? Wait till we get about 115 influence or authority and then we'll go ahead and capture that. Talking of, we'll grab some more authority production. Let's go ahead, grab some influence. So I tend to use oppression as a late game tool rather than an early game one. There's a couple of buildings that you need really. You need to make sure you've got a full militia. And you'll also need this particular building here, Office of Order. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that on the uh, Well of Riches bases. So we constantly have oppression for free and militia fight rebellions. And 100% village production. Which means that we'll get... Rather than 63 slot, we get 126. Which is absolutely absurd. And then we'll do the same on the other. In fact, do we need... This is a two. I do need water. But I think we can get more from other places. So we'll dismantle that and we'll get a SAM site there instead. Okay, we've got more than enough uh, authority now for that base. So let's push them over there. Hopefully Atreides don't take that opportunity to attack me. Although no, my luck, they probably will. <laughs> And then we'll grab this other well of riches over here. We're ready, Baron. Listening. Just got the boys back. No okay. one will survive. Baron. We should have enough supplies to get us there. Listening. Hopefully. Once we've done this uh, Symbols of Authority, we'll then start building craft buildings in all of our special regions. Uh, and then once we've got that, we'll just start focusing on uh, military. 
just to defend ourselves more than anything else. Baron. Don't need to conquer any more lands after this Well of Riches. Unless there's a special region behind us, which, to be fair, there isn't. I mean, this one, you could argue, is probably worth grabbing at some point towards the end of the game. So every special region you capture, you gain a thousand hegemony. So it does give you a bit of a boost. Ah, oh, you gits. I knew you'd do that. Get out of here. Which is why it's worth just keeping a little bit of influence behind. What the hell? Why is he there? Well, that's what it is. Okay, let's build ourselves a little Sam site. We're ready, Baron. See, so yeah, look at that 150 Solari production. That is unbelievable. But that's the power of uh, Harkonnen and their oppression. So good. So good. What is this? Is a wind? Two. That's no good. This is a two. Next. What's next? Kill militias or resolve things out of our borders. The resolving outside of borders is a lot easier, generally speaking. Unless you're conquering lots of territories. So what we want is this. From a militia. So it's a shame that, um, as far as I'm aware, the Harkonnen don't get the ability to build multiple structures at once. Make it worth my time. Um... Do you know what? That's actually probably worth doing. I'm gonna grab myself combat drugs because it's awesome. You lose health per day, but you gain increased um, speed and attack damage, which is pretty good. Right, let's have a look at the old militia in our bases. Get you sorted. You're good. You're good. We're a piece of everyone except for, why is scavengers at war let's with me? Let's get to business. Interesting. You, Baron. When did that happen? Well, either way, we need to build a uh, airfield here. Baron. I think the uh, brute will move the army over here oh, for now. Okay. I don't trust scavengers as far as I can throw them. Oh, they're going for a siege. That's what they keep going for. I see. Except the siege keeps winning. <laughs> okay. I did wonder what their massive army was doing. Now I know. Um, what does Landflood standing do for me? Nothing. I'm going to oppose this. Because I actually want... <laughs> put 140 into that. Yeah, nice. Don't care about Chaum. Why? Well, the minor houses voted for me. <laughs> okay, sure. Well, I mean, I'll take the 30 uh, land strad standing. Doesn't do anything for me. Not right now, anyway. Longer term, it probably does, but... Also, I do need to... Well, I don't need to. This is an option. It's not an easy thing to get, though. And I'm not really sure it's worth the time and effort, to be perfectly frank. 
So I'm going to grab a Sam site. I think this one could be my uh, powerhouse base. As far as economy goes. Because what I could do... So if I go here, I could build the um, experimental furnace, which increases production of all of that region and surrounding regions. We can grab this one. It's going to be help with gold. The money is just an absolute nightmare. Or we could grab this, which really is out there. But that would be the other special region. And we're 13k of... 25 so I'm definitely getting there so here's the thing we do need to re um con with the basis with oppression we constantly need to keep rebuying our um or restocking our garrison because we will lose units, even with like SAM sites. What's the crack with this base? Oh, recruitment. Okay. You know what that is actually? That, that base is worth grabbing. Let's go ahead and do that now. At least one building of each type. Uh, we should build an experimental furnace, 30% economy, building resource production in ally villages in region and its neighbours. And then we'll go for oppression. And then this should skyrocket. Baron. We also need water. So I'm thinking... Grabbing this as soon as I can afford it. Not 30? Okay, let's go here, deal with this rebellion or raid. Deal with that. Command points are maxed out, I see. Let's grab this guy this time. How can I help? Mm, no. No chance. Yeah, water is definitely something we need. Uh, these two we can't build, so where's the one? Just this one here. Oh, actually, this one might be worth grabbing. Knowledge and hegemony gains. Let's grab water first. Because we're already flying with hegemony. It's not like we're in a race against anyone else. It's just a race against the, uh, getting to 25k.
We hold instruments of doom. Oh, you absolute trolls. Let's get to business. Get out of it. It's all my influence, but... I don't want to deal with that right now. We're here for you. To the benefit of keeping hold of influence. Influence is so useful in so many ways. Like it's not ideal to keep doing, but it buys time. It buys 10 days at the bare minimum, even against human players, because the risk of not doing that or the cost of like declaring war on someone after you've pieced up with them is like catastrophic <laughs> it's so bad like landstrad standing goes to like zero you become like a pariah uh, yeah it, there's all sorts of things that go sideways and south when you do that um your money trading goes down it's pretty savage actually but you can still break it, even after the fact. But AI will not, even on insane difficulty, they'll just accept it. And quite often it lasts a lot longer than 10 days as well. And they'll just stay pieced up with you for a little while. Ready for destruction. There's nothing else I can spend my influence on. It's not like I'm playing House of Trades where I can peacefully annex bases with influence. So... Yeah, in that regard, it's a bit of a no-brainer, really. Are they going to attack me? Is that what they're gearing up for here? Sure as hell looks like it, unless they're going for the uh, thing again. By the thing, I mean the uh, siege that's clearly over here. I'll keep an eye on them. So I want to build an airfield after this. But you guys can come over there. Just in case they are going to go for me. Nope, it looks like they're going for uh, Siege. And they're pieced up with me anyway, so... Could be wrong. I don't think I am. Yeah, they're going for the Siege again. <laughs> Got the water sort situation sorted in a moment. There's a um, a special region called um, ah, what's it called? The ice polar ice cap or something. Um, it gives you, like, plus 20 water for all your future missions. So if that one comes up on the campaign map, we'll definitely be doing that. Right. Crafts Workshop. I think I need that. And I think with this one, oh, that's where I'll put the airport in here. I think that would make a lot more sense. And there it is, the airfield. Okay, now I can pretty much get anywhere I need to get to. So it's worth keeping these ornithologists around because things just appear randomly on the map. And even when they're idled, if something pops up, they will fly off and do their thing. One or two um, is all you need. Anything more than that is just a drain on your upkeep. And 100% not worth in my opinion. How much was this one again to conquer? 188. Oh, we could do that next. Um, I'm at peace with everyone, but you know what? I'm going to focus on smugglers because they seem to be really gunning for me. Well, they can pretty much fill on whoever they want, but... Ah, nice. 
So even House Carino doesn't like him. <laughs> nice. But Atreides doesn't like me. Fair. Imagine my surprise. What do you need? We'll do as you order. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and grab this one over here. Next. It's a long distance though. We might need to have a stop off at Gata. And this one was... Wow, he's built an Imperial base right there. Jesus. This one was um, recruitment office, so it's the next thing we're going to grab. Yeah, they got that under control. I mean, to be fair, the garrison's got this. I run. We're here for you. Um, I'm concerned that it's going to take far too long to get there. Anything but they've only got four, Baron. so. What do you need? Can we grab supplies? Yes, we can. Supply drop. That would be perfect. Three days left. Actually, do you know what? Let's just hold fire until that's done. I'm going to airdrop you in here. Actually, I don't need to. You can just walk. That's the new lot. Right, we can build a recruitment office. Or two. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. So I'm going to build a second one in that other place. And then I'm going to build a crafts workshop here as well. Be careful if they take that. Whatever. Ready, Baron? We're here for you. What's our next step? Why are they not getting their supplies back? Listening. Got plenty of water. Oh, right. Not in the red circle Wait, radius target. okay we're 16 to 25k just got nine more to go we get 1k for capturing the other city it's fine it's just a rebellion all right let's go take von almara Truce ended with smugglers. Fucking timing. We're ready, Baron. Ugh. We'll do How much would that cost? Order. I know I've got to wait. I help? Ten days, right? Oh no, you can do it instantly, but I need 150. Here's my influence guy. My oh, hang on. I want your influence. I'll give you some intel. We don't really need that. Give you some class creed. Don't really need that. Give you some gold. Because I are rich. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? But yeah, I do need influence more than I need that. Go off my lands. Let's get to business. Actually, they lose 20% um, combat strength as well. We're here for you. They'll learn of your might. Baron, on our way. Ready for battle. They'll learn of your might. Right, so let's try that again, shall we? Anything for you, Baron. We're ready, Baron. We'll do that. What do you need? Anything for you, Baron. We're ready, Baron. We're here for you. Anything for you, Baron. 
I wouldn't have a problem just staying where I am, to be honest, but... Kind of want to capture that other base. Man, we got 600 manpower. <laughs> Let's create a second army or something. Alright, let's get our supplies back. What's the special thing? Ah, oh, five of eight. Militias. Oh, we can do that by taking that other base. How long have we got? Three days. Ah, oh, Christ. Okay. Actually, you know what? Influence is probably worth grabbing. Alright. Take what? Four? I've got enough influence now. I could just force them into peace if I need to. Charge the troops. Oops. We might need a little bit of support actually. Where's the uh Baron. these guys over here? What do you need? I'm going for supplies, yeah no, good job I did. That. So once we get into this territory we'll pop our uh Supply drop. That sort any supply issues out. Anything for you, Baron. How are we doing timing wise? 0.3 days. Damn. That's unfortunate. Oh well. To be fair, I'm capped anyway. We're here for you. We'll do that. Anything for you, Baron. Capture this base, put its nice little defense in there. And then I think we will move on. And just defend against scavengers for the most part. <laughs> Seems to be the only ones that are actually attacking us. Always makes me nervous when I see that. What do you need? Although my army would absolutely decimate them if they did. <laughs> just airdrop on top of them. It's like, okay, well. Nice try. Sandworms? I thought sandworms weren't in this... Uh, Mission. Interesting. We're here for you. I'm going to leave ready, these two. Oh, yeah, I need a airdrop, don't I? So 19 or 25. I mean, the others are not even close. There's no way they could possibly win from here.
Oh yeah, that's good for me actually. I'm going to definitely go for that. I'm going to put under. You know, I'm going to go 250. Problem is, Carino can absolutely use force that to whoever they want. They didn't even vote for it. They went for Chalm shares and manpower. Okay, well, that was a waste of influence then, but still, I'm peace with everyone now, so I'll take that. Would have cost me pretty much the same amount of influence if I wanted just to peace one guy, so that's good for me. I can just take my time, chillax. Easy game. I'm actually on a negative on money for some reason. Ah. Should have been doing that earlier. So Plaskri actually is money. That's interesting. I've never actually come across a Plaskri as money before. I mean, I clocked it early on and just forgot about it. <laughs> Which explains why he's kind of... So... Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. Why you build an Imperial base there, because now he can't... Because it acts like one of these bases, so you can't actually... Mine Plaskri. So that's a really silly place to put that. I mean, I haven't played Carino yet. I understand how they work mechanically. And if it was me, I'd probably go for something like, I don't know. Hmm, would I go? Something like an ODAC, I think. I would, I would forward Imperial base someone, to be fair. <laughs> There's also a base here we should grab. There's a Crescent Ridge. Actually, we should grab that. Why not? Let me go ahead and grab a... Airfield. How can I help? Yeah, that's a good trade for me. Grab some authority. Once that airfield's built, I think we'll... Actually, no, we can just walk. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to grab this base, because that's another thousand hegemony. Is there any others that I haven't clocked yet? No, that's the last one. Unless we want to declare war on someone and maybe grab this, but 357 is just, wow, so expensive. What have we got here? Kill enemy units while a Harkonnen operation is ongoing. Wow. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Let's go Grek. That's got one of those. And this one's got one of those as well. Well, you we probably just walk across from there to there. Baron. Yeah, I got loads of money. I don't need to count the pennies. I'm good. I'll just airdrop. We're here for you. Check a rebellion going on over here. Let's go ahead. Grab command points. Military units deal fifty percent against main bases. Well, that's unlikely to help us this mission.
That's a fair army. I've got Sam's sight, so... Should be okay. In fact, I've got an army over here who's just idling. Let's send these boys in to clean this up. It's airdrop here. Let me grab this. Wish that'd be a little bit more responsive. Come on. Timing <laughs> worked out quite nicely. What's our next step? Kill them all. So there must be a siege here then in this region. Anything for you, Baron. Oh, smugglers, what a surprise. Well, as soon as I Baron. walk away. <laughs> they are really Let's get really business. trolling me this game. We gain a bunch of this stuff. Make it worth my time. Nah. I'll keep my influence. Thank you very much. Pretty close now. Wow, Karina's literally been at this siege the entire game. <laughs> it's kind of locked in some weird fighting loop. He attacks, retreats, attacks, retreats, attacks, retreats. <laughs> what do you need? All right, I'm gonna pull away because anything to please you. That's a tradies now, huh? We'll do as you order. Okay. Bring it. Baron. Money for uh, money for it seems like a bad idea, actually. I changed my mind. Keep your money. Don't need it. Anything for you, I need Barry. water though. We All right. Well, next to an airfield, so I can literally just rotate to wherever I'm needed. Which it looks like is Grek. It actually makes sense because that is the main objective this mission.
So when it's saying difficult, I find it's just useful just to abuse the uh, the mechanics of the game. Baron. Because the enemies just get unfair advantages across the board. So you kind of need to just take advantage wherever the hell you can. Sure, why not? <laughs> Fuck. 503, I mean, yeah. This is what I mean. If they want something, they can just get it. But they get 300 votes. Plus influence. And they can double each vote on a specific thing. So they can literally like, oh, I want this. I'm going to grab it. And no one can really, unless people team up against Carino, there's no real way of stopping them. So Landstrad victories and things like that are probably a uh, an easy win for them. These guys are running through my... Well, it's their lands technically, but... Oh, it's them attacking me. Interesting. What are they even going for? Are they going for... Grek. As in Mount Idaho. They are. Oh, you see? This is why I build an airfield everywhere. Because airfields are busted and they're like... So, so good. There's me other guys, that's where I had a couple of others. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab you over there. Oh, you think you have an advantage, do you? <laughs> I think not, sir. My Lord Baron. Listening. We're moving. Obliteration in progress. Can you guys take on yes. their uh Incoming any minute these guys? Absolutely mullering my uh, my boys, my back line. Baron. Easy, bruv. Your enemies are withdrawing, Baron. This territory is yours. Your victory is indisputable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, that was a good victory. That was a lot easier than the Atreides version, I think. Knowing exactly what you need to do. And I think the fact that Harkonnen have, like, the best troops in the game. Arguably. I'll, I'll take that. Arguably the best troops in the game. Yeah, I mean, even though they had the bigger army strength. Yeah. I think I had the better army. Anywho, folks, that'll right about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If it is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.